Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So this tutorial, in this tutorial we're going to go over switch statements in C++. So let's get started. So in the previous tutorials, we looked at uh, if, else, if, and uh, else statements in C++. Now, switch stated, switch, sorry, switch statements are just a different way of doing almost the same thing. Uh, but it has some advantages like the expressions is checked only once and then start, uh, we match it with the other values. Okay. So, Expressions uh, switch statements is used to select which blocks of code gets executed very much like if and else statements uh, But a much uh, in a much simpler way so it can be used in places where if and else statements uh, need to be used Okay, so let's get started uh, looking at the syntax of switch statements in C++ so We just use the keyword switch and then in parentheses we put in the condition we want to check for or the expression and then we start matching it against cases so it, the, the first case we match against the first case if you get the match then the code under this the, that block will be executed and then we finally just break so what break does it just simply tells uh, c++ to stop uh, jump out of this switch statement meaning that it should not st it should stop checking for other conditions right because you, i mean you already found the condition you want why should you go ahead and continue checking for other conditions knowing that they are not what you want so that's what the break statement is for it is optional you can keep it or you can keep it but just keep it because it is no point in checking for other cases when you already have the case you want so another optional parameter is the default uh, block so the default block will be executed when we don't get uh, any match of from the above cases so when the above cases don't we don't get any of the above cases then the default block will be executed Think of it like the else statement, okay? So now let's uh, jump to code and see uh, what uh, we actually mean by that. So I've simply created a uh, simple C++ program here using the namespace and then included the iOS stream since we need to be doing some input and out some outputs, okay? So let's um, let's start, so switch, and then we specify here number. So I'll just create an integer here on top, call it uh, int number and then i'll assign zero to it so we'll check the expression will be just number so let's go for the first case so first case if number is one so if number is one what you want to do is just see out the number is one just like that so we can just uh, uh just move this so you can just print uh, the word one okay so whenever you put in one it will give you back the one in form of a uh, uh, words okay so that's what and then we include the, the break program the break uh, break uh, statement what uh, basically we, we, because we don't want to continue checking for other cases because we already know we already got the case we wanted so we just check in for uh, other cases we just say two and then we simply uh, say c out and then we we'll say simply say two and then we we'll end that line and then we can include the break here because we don't want to continue checking for other cases because we got what we already wanted and then we we'll do c out and this should be my bad here and then this should be three and then we want to break and then you can do this for all other numbers okay you can do this for six you can do this for four you can do it for seven you can do it for all the numbers that you want but in this case we we'll just keep it simple we'll do it for just three numbers and then definitely uh, then after that we'll simply just say default uh default so default block will be executed when uh, all the other blocks don't uh, get a match so just say c out not a number okay so just like that so uh, i'll just repeat this and paste it for our other codes so that you can see the whole implementation and this should be nine so change that to nine and then now uh, here i'll just say nine yeah so we are done so we simply output not a number between between one and nine yeah so we just want to say that so whenever you whenever you get to the cases number is one it will just up, uh, output one in words and then if it's two it will and then you get the point right if it's eight it will output eight in words if it's nine it put nine in words else if we didn't get any number uh, from one to nine we just output not a number between one to nine so that's all we our program does so right now if i run this code is zero right so we should get the let me just change this to let me just say five so if I, I run this right now 
the five blocks should get a match and uh, we should get a uh, five in words so uh, you can see here on my terminal so i'll just make this huge so you can see we got five uh, so because this uh, this block here got a match so uh, this got executed okay um that's all so if, if we, we get specify a value which is not then we'll get a value uh, we get this default uh, character so i'll just close this for now and then we we'll change this value just to do one more test let's put in nine and then we'll execute this code compile and run the code so here we should get nine in words and we got nine in words so here so this shows our program is working fine so that's all about switch statements so let me specify a number which is not between uh zero and nine so just run this we should get uh not a number between zero and one and i'll just bring my terminal here and we can see not a number between zero and one so that's all about switch statements right so it's very similar to uh, else if else if and else statements there uh, okay so you can think of it like that but it's much more we just check for the expression once and then you check you start matching with against different cases so that's one advantage so uh what i would like to give you an assignment is that in the previous uh, some tutorial back we created a calculator right using if else and uh, else if statement so i want you to go back and change that calculator to use only switch statement so in here you just specify the operator and then you copy the code if it's one you copy the code between uh for that condition you paste it here oh, i believe one was addition so you copy all the code that is with addition you paste it in here and then if it's a two i think on subtraction you copy the code of subtraction and paste in here so that's my assignment for you so do that if you manage to do that then you have totally understood uh um switch statements in c plus plus so we are ready to move on to loops in c plus plus so that's what we'll be doing in the next tutorial we'll be going over uh while loops in c plus plus so if you're having any problem dealing with um, creating the calculator using a switch statement just leave a comment in the comment section below i will do my best to get back to you but if you manage to do it then congrats you have totally understood switch statements and you are ready to move on to the next tutorial so thanks for watching please sub support this channel one way you can support my channel is simply giving this video a thumbs up or subscribing to this channel for more content like this so see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching